Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Two, a beautiful number. One and one joined in endless harmony, the only even prime, and for far too many years, a number that Yu-Gi-Oh players were thoroughly unconcerned with. Oh, we'll play three axis fire fist. Did you check out this new rank four deck? Did you know Constellar has access to the five pool? Well, no longer. Today, I say it's time to explore the twos, and we'll do so with one of Yu-Gi-Oh's stupidest archetypes of all time, Malice Vorus. The history of Jank has spent a lot of time looking at specific rank strategies. Now, these are usually toolbox decks that pick a number and then play as many of the options available to that specific Xyz rank as possible. A lot of decks historically had success playing rank 3 strategies, rank 4 strategies, and even early in the Zexal era, rank 5 strategies, but not a lot of rank 2 strategies were ever really explored in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. And that's frustrating because there are a fair amount of really good rank 2s even at this early position. Usually people remember Gachi Gachi Gantetsu as part of an agent combo, but there's actually a number of no pun intended, a very powerful ranks if you are willing to invest a little more. If you have Dark Monsters, Gin Buster, which was just playable in Sprite, is incredibly powerful. If you're willing to invest three monsters, Dark Mist is actually pretty difficult to get rid of. And add to that the fact that at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh, there's actually a bevy of powerful two-star special summons that any deck can play. Caligo Clockrow was playable in Synchron as recently as last year. Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy is exceptionally powerful in Edison format Diva Hero lists. The Malice Vorises can send fiend monsters from the hand of the graveyard to special summon themselves, can summon Malice Vorises from their graveyard, or if a Malice Vorise is summoned with a different name to your side of the field, you can target a level 2 fiend type monster in your graveyard and special summon it. These plus Umbral Horror Ghost, which is uh, sort of like Sapphire Swallow, except much, much, much worse, provide you the material necessary to go into these toolbox of options. And then once you've done so, things get a lot better. During this period in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, Rank Up Magic spells were just being released. Rank Up Magic Numeron Force allows you to rank up a number monster into a Chaos Monster, a much more powerful version of itself, and then this will negate all of the other cards on the field's effects. Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos allows you to rank up, but it is also a quick play, meaning you can put in additional damage or uh, beat an opponent's removal spell by doing so. The Chaos numbers for Dark Mist, Gin Buster, and Manipulator of Souls are crazy. High Manipulator of Chaos allows you to summon a token that has the same attack as half of your opponent's life points. King Overfiend prevents your opponent from activating the effects of effect monsters. And Dark Storm can't be destroyed by battle. All battle damage it takes from battles involving this card is inflicted to your opponent, and it can suck the attack points out of any monster that it performs combat with. Now, these monsters are not invincible. They can still be targeted, they can still be destroyed. But that becomes a lot less available when you activate activate this card, Number Wall. This thoroughly unexplored continuous trap card prevents number monsters on the field from being destroyed by card effects or battle, and it means that you can potentially keep a Chaos Dark Mist on the field so long you will actually be able to attack for a lethal amount of damage. Is this deck good? No, but it's the best rank 2 strategy we are going to see until Sprite, so I want to try it out. We're playing 3 Caligo Clockrow, 3 Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy Malice Forces, Fork Knife and Spoon, Maxi is a 2 hilariously, Umbral Horror Ghost, Allure of Darkness, Dark Mem Bell, uh, which we probably will always have online, 3 Rank of Magic Numeron Force, 3 Quick Chaos, 3 Soul Charge, God, 3 Soul Charge, 3 Number Wall, and 3 Skill Prisoner, just more protection in this side. We have DD Crow's Effect Veiler, Dark Hole Forbidden Lance, Royal Decree, Solemn Warning, and Torrential Tribute 
in the extra, we've got Phoenix, Double Gantetsu, Manipulator of Souls, Sondayu, Jin Buster, Dark Mist, Manipulator of Chaos, Dark Storm, and King Over Fiend. So with that, here's Alex. You know, I saw Vylon and thought to myself, didn't I play this deck previously in Jank? And uh, you'd be correct, I did. But then I realized this is not the same deck. This is actually a completely different version of the deck that does a lot of things differently. And so why not? We will run it back. Uh, I think we lost the last time we played this deck. No surprise, because we're playing Vylon. But in any case, uh, this deck can actually do quite a few cool things that the other version could not. Plus we have three Soul Charge, so I'm sure that helps in some capacity. So Vylon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this deck is terrible. Basically, you play a bunch of equip cards and just try to like do fancy stuff with these violent synchro monsters that are uh, really annoying to summon and don't really like win you the game when you summon them except for Vylon Omega this is like sort of what this deck is trying to like summon because this thing is kind of crazy if you read it so it does require three monsters to summon which is probably like one of the biggest restrictions on it but when it's synchro summon destroy all face up monsters that were normal summoned or set and once per turn you can target a Vylon monster in your graveyard equip that target to this card and during either player's turn when a monster effect activates you can send one equip card equipped to this card to the graveyard negate the activation and if you do destroy that monster if you notice that effect is not once per turn so if we can assemble an omega that has a bunch of things equipped to it that seems pretty good for a turn one opening and it's sort of reminiscent of modern Yu-Gi-Oh! because remember this is probably a deck from like 2014 for all intents and purposes now how do we get there well there is like a weird long combo where if we have Vylon element as well as rod of silence ks we have swapped out our uh, twin swords of flashing lightning trice for rod of silence and uh for not very good reasons basically if we can get these cards out we can infinitely equip our vylon cards and just get them to go to the graveyard triggering vylon element which means that we can summon a bunch of tuners sync those up into a copy of omega and that way we can equip a bunch of cards to the omega and have an opening of a giant 3200 attack monster that can negate a million different effects so seems pretty cope it is and we're probably never even going to get to summon it but we will try our best so let's do the card by card of course we have honest because we are playing a light deck triple photon thrasher and trident warrior these are like the main cards we need because we need some non-tuners in this deck because all the vylons are tuners annoyingly enough we have three vylon cube which is pretty good because it adds equip spells from deck to hand when used for a synchro vylon prism is a four and that's relevant for getting into certain synchros as well sphere is a one and stella is also a three very important for trident warrior considering he can only special summon level threes that's kind of annoying and one copy of tetra so all these just have different abilities to like either equip themselves or get other equips and like do different things. Maybe they'll come up, maybe they won't. We have one Rota for the Trident Warrior or the Photon Thrasher. Ideally, we're trying to open with one of these and one of the Vylons to get our plays going. Triple Rod of Silence KS. This, this is so bad because like this card is awful if, unless we're doing the combo. But if we do the combo, it's actually ridiculous. Triple Soul Charge to help us get to the combo. Then we have a bunch of Vylon cards that are uh, individually terrible. And But you know, ideally, if they're just equips that turn into monster negates, that's kind of the idea. So we have two component, which it just does pierce with whatever it's equipped to. Element is pretty good. It's not an equip. It's a continuous spell, but I, that's kind of like the whole game plan of the deck, so we need three of this. Filament makes it so that if the equip monster attacks, your opponent can activate spells or traps until the end of the damage step. And then material is actually quite good because it gives a monster 600 attack, and then if it's just sent from the field of the graveyard while it's face up, you can add a Vylon spell from deck to hand, which is good because you can search element. Then we have segment, which allows you to just make it so that the monster equipped can't be targeted by opponent's monster effects or trap effects. And matter is fine. It's like a mini, like, jar of avarice, I guess. Or you can pop a card, which is kind of cool. And then we have Dark Hole, because we're trying to, like, kill our opponent. The extra deck, of course, is filled with plenty of Vylon Synchros that uh, we're probably not going to summon, but we'll try. Uh, so we have Alpha, we have Delta, Epsilon. Omega is, like, the main one. Uh, you remember Sigma from the previous Vylon episode. This card's actually pretty good. Problem is, we don't have Trice now, so this card is infinitely worse by comparison. We're not trying to really OTK in the same way we were before. This is, like, a bit more combo control-esque. Then we have some Rank 4s in the form of Paladinmo, Dweller, Exiton, and some rank threes in the form of Zen Mains and Anginir. And then for the non-synchro uh, Vylon monsters, we have Power Tool, or non-Vylon synchro, excuse me. We have Power Tool, we have Armades, we have Black Robes, we have Powered Insectron, and Stardust Spark. The side is just triple Maxi, triple Veiler, triple Release Restraint Wave. Very funny in a deck that's playing like nine equips. Torrential, Mind Control, Solemn Warning, and triple Royal Decree. Uh, hopefully this one ends up being entertaining. I know Joseph's deck is quite something, so we're going to see how this one goes. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Buddy, uh, 
why why am I back to playing the fucking Vylon deck? At least you're playing a new deck. Somewhat some sadistic person is just like, oh, you know what? Vylons were such a great viewing experience. Let's make the deck even harder and let Halix play it again. I think that's a great time. You know what? I actually, if you go back and watch the Vylon deck. I think that you had lethal two of the three games. And oh, just, thank you. So Thanks for making me feel better. I think Appreciate probably it. what happened is they were like, no, he needs another shot. He's got the <laughs> Vylon in him. We just got to bring well, it out. I don't have the twin swords of lightning trice uh, this time. You have some you. dog shit in this deck. I took a look. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing bad cards. It's, we're, pre we're playing every bad Vylon card in existence because the whole archetype sucks. Uh, your deck, speaking of cards that suck, hey. uh, th that's the whole deck. Come on. You don't you don't <laughs> like Spoon? You don't think Fork is a viable monster? I, I do not. I do not have faith. I, sorry to tell you. Uh, let's shout the patron. It's getting rid of CSMs was a mistake. Thank you for the support. Okay, well, this is going up after the MCS, so we'll just see about that. <laughs> You got the hand up. I've got something up. Uh, I rolled a four, even. It's odd. It's one. Fuck. It's I'm one dead. spoon, I'm baby. I'm so dead. You're not dead. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do? You're going to fork me. I don't know. And I, I think <laughs> I actually want to go second. I mean, no, I'll go. I was about to say, do you want me to go second? <laughs> I, I mean, say. I am the OTK deck at the end of the day. Oh, right. I mean, this hand looks great. Uh, oh, it's... my hand doesn't look bad. I'm actually, I think I'm one card away from like actually getting the full combo. Yeah, same. Uh, let's go Lure of Darkness. Sure. I wish I had draw power in this deck. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, it's not as sexy as I would have liked, uh, but it's still really good. Uh, we're going to banish Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy here. Oh, gonna... that's why you like this deck. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go for Umbral Horror Ghost. Ever seen oh, this Oh, we card? get to see these. Uh, we, we saw some of these when we were screening decks and said, these cards suck. Let's not play this deck, but I guess they are rearing their ugly head anyway. That is fine. I wish I was dead. I love you, but uh, I'm not playing Umbral Horror. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Uh, so this allows me to special summon itself and a level four or lower fiend from my hand at the cost of my okay. normal. Uh, so we'll bring out Malice Vorus Fork. I'm getting forked. You're getting forked. And then down comes the Clow. The Crow. Okay. He's he clawing. Is. This guy was good in Synchron. I mean, this is a good card. Now we got three twos. It's time for number 96, oh. Dark Mist. The gauge special, fantastic. Oh, indeed. And you just better watch your back, buddy, because I'm setting two cards and I'm saying good luck to you, moron. You know, the saddest part is I think the Dark Mist is probably enough to beat my deck because I don't think I can do anything <laughs> other than attack you. Oh, that actually is actually not a bad card. All right, uh, let's just Dark Hole. <laughs> oh, my God. No, my Dark Mist will remain on the field. I activate no. number wall. Oh my, you are not playing this shit. <laughs> I just got outplayed. While oh I my control God. a number monster, my numbers can't be destroyed by card effects or battle, except with a num another number. Now, remind me, Alex, is Vylon Sigma a number? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> the saddest part is I have Xyz monsters, but none of them are numbers. So I think I just lost the game immediately. <laughs> How do I beat this? Okay, I, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Let me think. Wow, I am like actually just screwed, aren't I? This is uh, <laughs> this is jank, all right. This I will tell jank. you, I I swear, the decks we get for I wish I was dead, they all feel like they were developed by a different antagonist in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like this Evidently. is a deck that was just designed to be like, you'll never defeat my unbeatable setup. My dark mist will protect me. Okay, sadly, I think there's only one thing I can do to stop this. So we're going to try our best. I will special summon Photon Thrasher. Yeah. I will normal summon Vylon Prism. I see. I will overlay, not for a number, but for Star Liege Paladynamo. Attempt to activate effect. S Do you hear that? That's the sound of the dark mist. I activate skill prisoner. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? I'll target my dark mist. This turn when any monster effect resolves that targeted that card at activation, it's negated. This is an FTK. It's this literally is literally an FTK. FTK. <laughs> How the fuck do I beat this? It's too powerful. This is just I'm I'm dead. I, go. I I can't beat this. Uh, stand by, Main. So we are going to go to battle. Uh, we'll attack, and oh, not so fast. Let's activate the effect of my dark mist. Of course. I'll of detach course. Malice Forest Fork. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, I guess we'll attack. Uh, have your monsters attack, and he goes up to a whopping 1,100. All right. Uh, I don't think you'd ever be uttering the sentence, detach Malice Vorus Fork, but here we are. Okay, so my Paladynamo dies. I take 100, and a then per my 100. Paladynamo, I get to draw a card. Okay, well, uh, that is pretty much everything that I had planned on doing here today. <laughs> I've got maybe one other thing I can do, but I, I think it sucks ass. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. No, let's not. Uh, go ahead. I literally am just, I, I don't know how I'm getting out of this now. This is a disaster. I, I think I'm honestly just going to pass. Uh-oh. I believe you may have found the out to my dark mist. <laughs> just chilling. Dark mist. Missed him. All right, I'll take 11. I've been misted. Uh, okay. Okay. That's not bad. That's something. Man, you had to have a back row, didn't you? I know. You could just take another 11 here. Not in, like a major hurry. Oh, you know what? I cannot do what I want to do. So yeah, I'll just, I'll pass again. Uh, we are gonna, we are gonna miss you again. <laughs> All right. I'll take 11. All right. Back to you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to set one and pass. Stand by main. Holy yep. shit. I mean, um, uh, get in again, I suppose. 11, yes. That's <clears throat> fine. You know, I do have draws that do stuff in this deck. I just haven't found them. Shit. I'm, oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. I think I just need one more piece to make this work. And I know all the Vylon enthusiasts are like, you could have done the combo already. I'm fairly certain I cannot, but I also don't trust myself to know if I can. Uh, I will set another <laughs> card and I will just pass. Stand by main. Okay. I will special Caligo Clockrow. Uh, I will s normal Malice Forest Fork. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> uh, let us go for... You're going to make Gachi <clears throat> to pump the 96? No, I'm good. Uh, we'll just make Digusto Phoenix. Oh, shit. Am I just dead? Yeah, oh, no. I'm Very hoping. Close. All right. Uh, we'll activate its effect targeting itself. Uh, 15. So 3,011. 11. And then... <laughs> no! I activate Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos! You've got to be fucking kidding me. I'll overlay for number C96. What is this deck? Dark Storm! <laughs> the storm is coming, brother, and it's attacking you directly. I'm so mad. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so mad. I had... I was so... I need to draw my next card. I don't think that was going to do it, admittedly, but that's okay. All right. <laughs> So, like, I had everything, except I didn't have uh, a Vylon level three monster. Because oh, classic. I need the, yeah, classic, right? Because I had all the Vylon equips. I had, like, the card that does the... Co I had the combo cards, but I just didn't have, like, an actual thing to, like, get going. The problem is all the Vylons are, like, tuners. So, mm -hmm. like, you need to have, like, a non-tuner and a tuner. Otherwise, you can't do anything with them. So, uh, yeah, we were just kind of clogged on our 900. This is, like, just bad Noble Knight. That, that's what I've, I've figured out this deck is. Holy shit, this hand is unplayable. Uh, we get to draw for a turn, right? I mean, honestly, it's making me think, like, this deck is actually quite good i'm looking at my hand and thinking the exact opposite uh, <laughs> what the fuck do i do i'm going to normal vylon stella yep i'm going to equip it with vylon material and that is the end of my turn <laughs> is there something i'm missing <laughs> no that is the end of my turn <laughs> okay stand by main the battlefield is silent to alex and yet I can hear it. I can hear the approaching mist. I will send a Malice Vorus Fork to my graveyard to special summon a Malice Fork from my hand. I know what you're, you're thinking. this way too much. What a great move. You're thinking, <laughs> Joseph, what an incredible move. I agree. Next, I will go back because I sequenced incorrectly. <laughs> I'll normal summon a Malice Vorus Spoon. Okay. All right. We're seeing then the I'll do the exact same play. <laughs> Because a Malice Vorus was special to my side of the field, I can activate Spoon to summon a Malice Vorus from my graveyard. Yes, you can. All right, that was... Damn, look at that. That's... I mean, that's not terrible. That's now not we terrible. have a problem. Right, look out. This card is also Construct. It only ha makes whatever it's equipped to Construct. <laughs> we actually don't have a problem at all. <laughs> well, maybe we do. Maybe Material is secretly very good, and I just don't... <laughs> get it that's interesting 
I actually have a couple of very fun plays. I know very little about your terrible garbage deck, so but one I. thing I know is that you need life points. Is there a way I could stop you from having any of those? I think I need one more material. All right, I'm gonna overlay these three monsters for one you may not be familiar with. Okay, gonna see a new card then. You're going to see the Manipulator of Souls. I don't think I've ever seen this card in my life. This card can manipulate your very essence. I think it's actually the Umbral Horror boss. Oh, um, is it? Okay. But he ain't sticking around for long because I'll activate Rank Up Magic Numeron Force. I can't believe you're getting to do this shit again. Yeah? Okay. This card allows me to summon a number C monster with one rank higher than my existing monster by using it as Xyz material. I'll summon number C43, the High Manipulator of Chaos. Well, all those tokens can make a second attack each battle phase. Very so true, important. very true. And I'll make one now using the effect gained by having number 43 Manipulator of Souls underneath it. I'll summon okay. a token with an attack equal to half of your fucking life points. What the fuck? <laughs> So it's 4K? Very true, very true. Oh my god. Uh, okay, and then because I'm also very stupid, I'll special Caligo Clockro. <laughs> Battle phase. 4K? I gotta read this card again. So this thing can <laughs> attack me twice? That is correct. <laughs> Damage step? Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> oh. Nice 4,000 attack token. <laughs> That's like the biggest punish of my life. <laughs> you were gonna take. You should have seven. gone with the mist, Joseph. The mist was calling. No, I've I've been punished for turning my back on the mist. Oh jeez. Oh my god. At least right, my number C forty three has protection. Yeah, of course. He's a uh, such a powerful card. How could he not have protection? All right, main phase one. All right, I I might be able to actually start. No, that's not true. This deck sucks. Uh, normal Trident Warrior. I will activate to special summon Vylon Cube. Oh, shit. This one's actually good. Yeah, this card's not bad. All right. Uh, now, can I kill you is the question? Probably. Do I know how? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. Damn, I actually think if I had the twin swords of Trice, I actually could kill you here. Not, not so <laughs> bad now, is it? <laughs> As much as I would like to do some cool stuff, I don't think it's actually doable. So, uh, I'm going to sink off the Trident Warrior and the Cube. And we're going to bring back the Sigma. You know this guy. You love him. Oh, I uh, do. He's back. Oh, the Sigma uh, Mail we'll returns. We will trigger the Cube. So, this allows us to add an equip spell from our deck to our hand. So, yep. we will grab any of these bad boys here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... Oh, here it is. All right. The Component. That's what we wanted. So we're gonna activate component and we're going to equip it to our Sigma. This makes him uh, do piercing, as a matter of fact, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's probably all we're gonna do in all honesty. So we're gonna go to battle. Cool, cool deck, buddy. Yep. Yeah, great deck. Yeah, we're gonna put uh, Sigma into High Manipulator of Chaos and uh, use the effect of Sigma to equip another card from our deck to the Sigma. I hate to do this. Hence why I wish I had the. Uh, He's oh, gotta be something? the only guy you control. This card fucking sucks. Whatever. Okay, I'm still doing it anyway. I'll hit you your 18. <laughs> I'll take it. Hate this deck. All right, uh, and then 2,000 over your 900. Yeah, I'll take what 11. Uh, now here, I would like to synchro for Vylon Omega, but he requires three monsters to summon for some unknown reason. Uh, so awesome. we're just going to pass. All right, stand by main. Alex, you should know the mist endures. Oh the mist God. rises. The I soul activate charge. soul charge. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. All sure. Right, let's summon three. We'll summon back Spoon, Fork, Crow. Do I get Spoon here? I feel like I don't get Spoon here. Now, this is a little difficult because I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. But I can feel in my soul the, mist is the grip calling. of the mist. <laughs> I'll make number 96 my faithful companion. Let me just make sure that, that nothing on board kills this. All right, it doesn't. All right, go ahead. We'll draw. That's, I don't think that does anything. Uh, main one. Yes. All right, so now we're back to the age-old problem of how do we out this. Thankfully, you don't have traps, so I don't have to worry about that. I, I see the mist is spreading on your the side of the field. The mist spreads. The mist is <laughs> untouchable. Uh, you're not the only one with soul charge, buddy. Oh, God. All right. So we're going to bring back everything. Yeah. 
And uh, we're going to uh, do what we did before, but this time it'll work because you don't have skill prisoner. So we'll Paladynamo him. Yeah. So the mist has been... And then I just have these other two idiots just like sitting here doing nothing. That's probably fine. Just a cube and a Stella. <laughs> just a cube and a Stella. Yeah, I'll try it. Fuck it. I can't attack anyway. Uh, I'll activate element. Yeah. Now this card's neat. So when a face-up Vylon equip card is destroyed, I can special summon an equal or lower number of tuner monsters from the deck. Uh, but they can only be used for Vylon synchros. No surprise there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to overlay these two Vylons, which will in turn destroy the material. It definitely go does for... not count as destroying the material. Does it not? Didn't we oh, do this with this Butterfly thing. Dagger Elma? Did we? Oh, okay. Maybe we did. Maybe. We would never make a mistake like that on this series, Joseph. What are you talking about? <laughs> that would never happen. <laughs> Literally, never. yeah. Never. Whatever. Your Dark Mist can't kill my cube. I don't care. Go ahead. Alex, I put my faith in the mist. There's a number of cards that do it for me. <laughs> there are. You could rank it up, which is actually quite terrifying. <laughs> Okay, I didn't draw a rank up, but I think I can do something. I normal summon Malice Vorus Knife to summon Okay, that's the first time we're seeing this one. Back to my side of the field. Okay, that was step one. What the hell is step two? Step two is I hit the concede button. You got it. <laughs> the mist endures, and the mist may have forgotten to activate Max C the turn before the mist lost. <laughs> The mist appreciates you not talking shit on the mist at this time. Oh, the mist. The mist is so close. This hand unfortunately has the age old problem. It's too good. It's too good? I see. I don't want to well, banish any of it. it. Yeah, is the problem. This could fix it. It did the opposite. We'll banish Malice Forest Knife here. Uh, we're going to special Ghost and Spoon. Uh, hold on, sir. Yeah? This is an activated effect to summon Ghost and Spoon. You are correct. I have some mist of my own! Yeah, 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 yeah. You can draw your card. <laughs> I only get one card, yes, because this is two summons. Well, shit. Uh, hmm. What's wrong, Joseph? Is your mist not good enough to beat my mist? Please. I'll over the these two for a card we haven't seen yet. Number 65, I... Gin Buster. This is, wait, this is a, a modern Yeah, card. you remember them from this? sprite format? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He's back, idiot. Go. Is this card this old? It that's is. It's legitimately me, this old. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty good. My not powerful bad. series of monsters will send you back to the... <laughs> the mist. The fucking you're going to mist land. <laughs> I'll I will just set one and pass. Oh, you fool! You absolute fool! Stand by, main. Okay. Battle. I'll take thirteen. Jin, bust him! You must know by now that busting makes me feel good. Oh, I'm gonna make you bust. I when know. You see I this. know you play royal decree. <laughs> Uh, I'll draw. Yep. Main one. All right. Problem is I still have to deal with the fucking gin buster, and that's sort of annoying. Yeah. Considering I have, like, no other way to actually win the game. Uh, I'll dark hole. That sucks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, where's your chaos force now? All right. Trident warrior. Rise! Uh, Maxi. Fuck. All right. That's a better miss than the dark mist. Okay, <laughs> so I have to commit to this one, unfortunately. Uh, so this is going to be the Vylon Cube. You may get yep. your draw. Uh, mm. so now I can sync for a seven. Seems Twin swords good. trice would be crazy here. It would be crazy, but this deck isn't play. You know, they just thought the old version of this deck was too easy. <laughs> that, that's, that's really the problem here. I really don't want to give you another card, but Ooh. I also like getting cards because my cube will give me one. So that's kind of neat. Fuck it. I'll give you another card. Okay. You can have it. Uh, we'll go for the Sigma. Uh, we'll trigger our cube, so we will go and get a equip spell. Let's grab ourselves a... Uh, let's take a material. I want to give this guy some attack points. Yep. Uh, we'll equip material, and we'll equip segment. Oh, my. And we'll go to battle, hit you for 24, <laughs> declare sigma. Yeah, that's fine. I will equip... Uh, we want to make it 3k, maybe? I got you under decree, so I'm not really, like, afraid of too much else. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's just go 3k. Get sure. Material. You'll take an extra six, and uh, that's it for me. Go ahead. Stand by me. So you have to deal with a three thousand attack Vylon Sigma that cannot be targeted by monster effects or trap effects. Incredibly powerful, Alex. Were I a lesser duelist, I'd be impressed. I am one with the mist. I activate oh, Soul God. Charge. No. Yep. All right, we'll do it for three here. Okay. 
Put you down to 2,000, buddy. That's some dangerous territory. Please. I have nothing to fear. The mist is on my side. I normal summon Malice Vorus Knife. I overlay all three of my monsters for number 96, Dark Mist. And now, the card that spells your demise. I activate Rank Up Magic Numeron Force. Go ahead. Go I'll off. I'll rank up my Dark Mist into number C96, Chaos Storm! Because face-up cards are on the field other than this card and monsters summoned by it, I'll, I'll negate the effects of all face-up cards you control permanently! What? Yeah, that's kind of bullshit, huh? Because now I'm going to activate <laughs> Number Wall! Oh my god! Oh yes, <laughs> Alex. Things are getting very bad for you. I'll so pass back, right? I don't really have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I will set one card, and I will pass my turn. Uh, okay. Well, I want to keep going, but I soul charged. I mean, you could if you want to. Wait, do I just win? Yeah, all right, battle, attack. Uh, am I missing something? <laughs> First time in the mist. The Numeron Force doesn't negate until the end of the turn, Alex. Uh, that's fine. I'll take five. Hold on, wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on! Oh, wait, I see. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you won't get out of the mist that easily, Alex. It's on the Numeron Force. I'm like, where is this? I didn't realize that's what was active no, here. It's crazy. Pace up cards on the field other than this card, and the monster summoned by negate the effects of those other cards. Yeah, this is sort of a problem. <laughs> Indeed uh, it is. Yeah, I thought it was just like <laughs> till the end of the turn, but no, it is just like a permanent, just gigantic. This this is just plays to the whole mist theme. My whole field has just been misted by effect negation. This has been this has been a roller coaster of a game. You know, episode, I, I am really say. surprised. I was ready for these decks to <laughs> fucking suck, but they are credit to I wish I was dead. Yo they are really competent at doing their line well yours, yeah, yours sucks. mine hasn't done jack shit Let's you you are sitting on a format sigma whoa my deck doesn't do anything it doesn't do anything <laughs> you're lying to yourself if you think this deck does anything okay just to clarify numeron force only negates the current stuff that's up yes uh, yeah, new stuff is fine. I'm going to normal summon Vylon Tetra. I'm going to sync mm, Tetra and Sigma. Whoa, 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 hold up here. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize Excuse he was a tuner. <laughs> They're all tuners. That's what the deck is. Man, what are your non-tuners? <laughs> this deck's weird. All right. <clears throat> Literally fucking Trident Warrior, and that's it. All right. Uh, so you're just going to make a big guy. Um, I'll just uh, make this a little easier for you. I activate... Rank up magic quick chaos. It doesn't end. It doesn't fucking end. Okay, to summon sure. number C65, King Overfiend. This is not a real card. While my King Overfiend is on the field with a gin buster underneath, you literally can't activate the effects of effect monsters. And that is not a joke. <laughs> effect monsters your opponent controls cannot activate their effect. This deck's crazy. This is nuts. What's this is nuts. These three monsters form an unstoppable triumvirate. Number 65, Gin Buster. Number 96, Dark Mist. And number 43, Manipulator of Souls. Sondai, you can also come. He's he's fun. Am I good now? Yeah, May I proceed? do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If My you can find are... anything to do. I'll sync these two yeah. back to what I was doing. I will summon Vylon Alpha. <laughs> The alpha male. May I trigger my double Vylon material? <laughs> yes. I just went to the graveyard. Very much yes. Well, this is really going to be the alpha male when I add Vylon component to my hand, as well as Vylon filament. Uh, now it's a Vylon segment. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. <laughs> uh, ho Hold on here, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Anything? Uh, No. <laughs> I will activate Vylon Component, targeting my alpha. <laughs> uh, yes. I will activate Vylon Segment, targeting alpha. Also, yes. Battle. I will activate another Rank Up Magic Quick it Chaos. It doesn't end. It doesn't end. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, you, you, have can't, anything? you can't rank up a rank up into a rank up. I'm going <laughs> to die by piercing? No! <laughs> Woohoo! Get in there, Alpha! <laughs> I guess I should have summoned him in attack. 
The funny thing is, uh, if you, if it wasn't for what this thing actually does, I had honest, and I could have won if it was an attack when it was See, the regular gin. Buster. That's what I was but playing it, around. I was like, exactly. oh, if he's got honest. <laughs> oh no! I should have just not summoned gin buster. Oh no! Darkstorm has the same problem. Yeah. Wow. That uh, was what a wow. game. Yeah. I didn't even get to show off what my deck actually does, but I mean, hey, it got there. Yeah. Your deck's fucking sick. Your deck is so cool. These, these, both of these decks I thought were neat. Uh, both of these decks, by the way, literally only playable in three soul charge format. Like you could not yes. possibly do this, but yeah, there's actually uh, randomly three really good rank twos uh, with three materials. Um, obviously, Gin Buster needs no introduction. He was just really playable as part of um, uh, Sprite. Sprite. Um, but uh, Manipulator of Souls, Gin Buster, Dark Mist. We have Sondayu in here, but I don't think there's really any way to do it because it's got to be beasts and we have a pretty beasts. low amount of them. Uh, but yeah. the Malice Vorses, they're great for special summoning. Umbral Horror Ghost is an incredibly powerful way to get monsters on the field. Caligo, Clawcrow, and uh, Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy are all fiends that just special summon themselves for free. You can even normal a maxi. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, and then you just make these guys over and over again and protect them with a uh, number wall. Bad sprite in 2014, <laughs> 2015. Like, I mean, functionally, all of these level twos special themselves or special yeah. one another. And then you're just making the rank twos that were available at the time, which just, you know, weren't what they are now. No gigantic, no gigantic. Buster, funny. Yeah, there's no gigantic sprite. There's no toad. Not that this deck could make it anyway, but, uh, I mean, your deck had no issue going off. And it's it's crazy because, like, once you get, like, some of these, like, setups going, it's almost, like, impossible to break them. And obviously, this is jank, right? So it's yeah. going to be hard for decks to out anything. Even against, like, good decks, it would be hard to out some of these setups. Like, it's actually remarkable what this deck is able to do. And unfortunately, um, the, the thing that good decks had against this deck uh, was a number that matches up extremely well in 101 yeah. plus back row removal. Uh, if you get rid of the numbers wall... The deck is not nearly as capable. So um, MST Precisely. in archetype removal, uh, like uh, Castell and stuff, I mean, uh, got a lot less powerful uh, when you were playing against competent stuff. But against Vylon, oh man, it, it really kicks. Yeah. Uh, so my deck, speaking of which, uh, this deck is just as bad as it was before, except we won this time, I guess. The, the thing about it is we didn't even get to show off the Omega, which is like the whole point of like what this deck is trying to do. So I, I'll quickly try to go over like the basic here. You're trying to assemble this like three card combo. Uh, actually, I think it's like four. You need to have like a level four and then any of your like Vylons, right? And then on top of that, you also need Vylon Element and then like Rod of Silence KS. And so what you're trying to do with this is that now when you equip any of your Vylon cards, I'll just move this here for a second. They're all going to get immediately destroyed because the Rod of Silence KS is negating all, uh, destroys the spell card because it negates it. And then you get to trigger all of your Vylon shit. And while you're doing that, Vylon element triggers, allowing you to get to more tuners. And from there, you're slowly climbing your way up into, this is not the right star line, but just for example's sake, to get into this Vylon Omega. And then you equip this Vylon Omega with like a million equips. And this thing is literally just a non once per turn monster monster effect, negate, and destroy, and has 3,200 attacks. So you just get to soup up this giant Omega and just like make your opponent suffer if they play a monster effect heavy deck. With the fact that if you equip it with some of the other Vylons, it's immune to traps, it's immune to monsters, uh, it can do piercing. Like it, it's kind of like a neat little Tron style deck, but it just requires like way too many steps to go through. Soul Charge helps alleviate that a little bit, but I didn't even get the opportunity to do it because it just was such a pipe dream that this was actually going to happen <laughs> that I just stuck to the regular Vylon lot stuff. I mean, Sigma's just fine. Uh, we got to summon Alpha, that, not that I wanted to, but just because it came up. Like it, <laughs> He's it a guy. <laughs> He's a oh, guy. Oh, no. Well, you know, at the end of the day, they are light monsters and Honest is legal. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to Shout1317, Tim00, X3, MBT, Play Medulce, Moto, Cameron Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Phoenix the Immortal, Dan Manhoven, Richard E. Normus, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, Valen Jackson, Little Fade Leaf, Dylan Hunter, Cody Brett, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Inyan Show. Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Dalton, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Luabon, Yodabon. I tried reading cards before. It was horrible and 
my guinea pigs had to get me therapy. Helios 515, CMOS Chaos Cooking Draft, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Player Soon, Neapolitan, Shrugzix, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, and Corvain. Thank you all so much again for watching, and we will see you next time.